Hey YouTube, it's Mike here. And I'm gonna show you guys the video of uh, me playing this competitive seasons, uh, season seven. The reason why I'm showing this gameplay here is because I like this game a lot because of the fact of uh, what happens during the game. And uh, basically I stick around and the outcome eventually comes in my favor at the end. But I think it's a perfect example of showing somebody um, why you should always stay in a game and not rage quit just because things don't look as good as you want them to look like in the first period. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's actually pre-recorded. I'm talking over it. So we'll talk during the gameplay. So during the gameplay, you'll see that I had a, a fair connection and a good connection. So um, it was basically in between. Uh, I'm not too happy about that, but whatever. I ended up still sticking around the game because, uh, well, <laughs> I figured since it's in between, it can't be that bad, right? Well, we'll see what happens. So as we're taking our first face-off, uh, I'm actually pretty good in face-off. As you can see, I win the face-off, and there's that little problem that I hate when you win the face-offs. Uh, the forward could like basically force you. Like I'm not trying to score you in the first minute, so I get an icing. Um, an icing, sorry, an offside. Since we cannot score in the first minute because people basically rage quit, I cannot even shoot there, so I'm just basically wasting time. Just hoping for that first minute to go through. Anyway, so as the game is going, um, already I see that uh, I'm not liking uh, the way the game is feeling. It feels a little bit sloppy, as you can notice uh, on the first uh, the first pass that Al McInnes did before uh, I missed. Thank God my player got there before his player, so I wasn't an icing. But as you can see over here. Uh, I already get a major turnover pretty much in the first couple minutes of gameplay. Tang off a rod X all. He actually makes a save there. Now I'm actually struggling to get the puck out of my zone. Um, I don't know. I just feel that you'll, you'll, you'll see. Like, look, everything I'm doing is, is getting intercepted back to him. You know. So th those are moments where you know things are going to go bad, right? When when you're not even able to get the fuck out of your zone for that long. And basically the guy is getting chances to score. See there, the reaction of your defenseman every time you get the puck um, from your goalie is extremely slow. And he ends up basically making me pay. And scores a good goal, cross freeze goal. My mistake. Uh, I still felt that the connection was slow, so I felt that the, the, the delay um, from my player to react when he got the, pa the, the pass from the goalie it was very slow and, you know, it didn't seem like it was going the way I wanted things to go. There I had a good opportunity to score, make a 1-1, I missed the net completely. Well, I missed, I think my AI missed, but whatever. He missed the net there also, so I guess it's 1-1. One for one. There's not really much that happens for me in the first period, to be honest. Um, I had a shot there, it almost went in, it just went just a little over the net. Trying to play the cycle game a little bit, it's not, definitely not working in my favor. As you can see, this guy has a pretty good team, so he's out speeding my defenseman pretty easily. And I noticed this right away from the beginning that I'm going to add issues in the back with uh, oh my D for sure so there as you could see I had another good chance to uh, make it 1-1 and again my guy misses the net um, this is one thing that gets me nervous uh, when you, you know when things are not going right for your team uh, you keep missing the net there was a beautiful save from the goalie tried to do the wraparound goal it didn't work um, as you could see like Besides um, them scoring that, that goal, uh, I'm pretty much in control of the game, uh, possession of the puck basically, you know, but I'm not doing anything with it. Nothing is going right for me at least, you know. 
Sorry if my, uh, my throat feels a little bit sloppy because I have a bit of a sore throat. This guy was good on faceoffs. So he actually uh, ended up being a very even game uh, faceoff wise. So basically, uh, as you can see in the first period, nothing is really happening at all. For me. See there, that was another tape to tape. Uh, well, it was my first tape to tape. Uh, the the uh, pa uh, one timer. Of course, I missed the net for the third time. And. The first period so as you can see i am not hitting the net like i am getting opportunities maybe not many of them you see the lag there look, look at the lag see there i feel the lag um i couldn't control my man the way i wanted to i still get the puck though out of it but i was having a hard time doing anything with it because the lag actually had affected me uh during that phase to that that uh, that moment but like i was saying like uh, basically um see there i pass it back to my defender he does not even attempt to uh get the puck uh, so the first period ends like that and basically as you can see i had like three minutes in attack but basically no shots on net so it's a one nothing game for him at this point i'm like you know one nothing is not too bad right i can still come back from this game it's just basically one shot i'm one shot away from making it a one one game so i'm not gonna give up and I don't like to quit. But then again, second period starts. This first shot, top corner. You know, it's not like I'm I'm I'm, I'm saying this guy was bad. This guy wasn't bad. This guy was actually a pretty good player. But it seemed like when he took his shots, they were hitting the net. And when I was taking my shots, I was wide. Um, so it's a two nothing zero right now. Um, as you can see, I come I come back, and I take a shot with Mike Richards. And he misses the net, and then I take a D to D pass to Al McInnes, and he misses the puck. So, this is what I'm trying to say: is like whenever you're playing a game, but it seems like nothing is going your way. And here, look what happens: I get beat by my defenseman again, and he almost scores. Thank God for Rod Exall that actually did make some good saves for me during this game to give me a chance to have an opportunity to come back. But as you could see, nothing is working for me. We all we all noticed that how many times like there was a cross crease. It wasn't probably the best one, but whatever. Um, there you see, I take a shot again, and it never gets to the net. So the issue I'm having here right now with this game is that it seems like eh, there is uh, offside. Uh, I don't know why Cam Neely uh, moves up before the puck gets to him. It seems like everything I'm doing, either the puck's not getting to the net, I'm missing the net, I'm not getting. Um, Good passes and getting turnovers like that one right there that just happened. Look at this turnover. You know, thank God again, Rod Exdahl saves it. The guy keeps trying to do that uh, that maneuver. Um, I really hate that maneuver to be honest with you. I think hopefully next year they fix it because this year the goals go in pretty uh, pretty often when people do that. Here my defenseman gets caught up again. This is a, this is based only on um, on lag also my defense. Uh, delay is extremely slow sometimes to, to basically activate him and start checking back with him So there's not much I can do as you can see there. I didn't really have a good angle to score I figured I'd just take a shot at net just to basically um, Get a shot at net because <laughs> okay, I basically couldn't get Nothing at net so I figured you know what I'm just gonna start shooting the puck a little bit more and just see if I can get anything um, at this point, I get beat again, and he does score goal number three. That was what the third time, fourth time that he tried the maneuver. Eventually, he got it. Uh, the goal in was out of position. It's a good goal, whatever. I mean, it is a goal, so whatever. It makes it three nothing. So as you can see, the second period is going even worse for me than the first. So you're probably wondering, Mike. Okay, so why are you guys, why are you showing me this game? You know, like, well, this game is based on, I want people to basically, when they play, not to give up on a game just because things are going completely wrong. As you can see, I'm playing a guy against a guy that's actually pretty good and top it all off, nothing seems to work for me. Look at that shot. 
that could have been an easy top corner. For some reason, he, he shoots it low uh, to his pad, uh, and he ends up saving it. Those are goals I usually score uh, all day long. There he hits a post, and I got lucky. Now, um, yeah, like I was saying, basically, I want people to play their games and not completely give up just because they're not getting the results they want. Uh, everything seems to go your opponent's way. Uh, that's the way I felt with this game. Look at that, he almost scores there. I almost basically put it in with my defenseman, but unfortunately, uh, fortunately enough for me, I don't score my own net, thank God. <laughs> As you can see, I can't get nothing going in this period. Like, I was trying to pass it to Kreider there, and the button delay was so slow, I couldn't even make the pass, and eventually the pass was just straight up to basically his goalie. So there, I'm actually trying to make a pass to my forward that was actually going frontwards, and here he scores goal number four, but lucky enough, this will be a high stick, and I think this is the goal that basically turns the game around for me. So people talk about momentum swings and when do they start? Well, I think mine started right here. After this disallowed goal that basically saved me this game because I know I can score goals in this game if I can get the puck to the net. Unfortunate, I was not getting it in the first two periods. But coming back from a four game four goal game was gonna be way harder than a three goal game. They won the face off. On side. And gathered in by Russell. So I basically had a good uh, moment there to uh, give myself a chance basically to come back in this game. So the second period will end and I got lucky right at the end there he doesn't score that goal that he kept trying to do pretty much all game long so the second period is over as you can see the stats are pretty much in his favor shot wise I couldn't get a shot I had six shots after two periods I had more attack time than him but I couldn't do nothing with basically my uh, with my attack at this point I don't know what he's doing I'm waiting for him. I don't know why he's taking his time. And finally the third period starts. Opening face -off of the third period. So I win the face off. Fa like you saw, the face offs were pretty even. I can't remember the numbers, but it was pretty, pretty even. At this point here, the first shot I take actually goes to the net. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'm thinking, you know, maybe uh, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I'll get a couple of shots on that. As you can see, I get my second shot. So in the first two periods, I had six shots. And now in the first, basically, minute and a half of the third, I already have two shots on that. So I'm like, okay, okay. This is not too bad, right? Not too bad. So I give it to Al McInnes, and bang. Third shot, top corner. Finally, I'm hitting the net. So this is why I believe that momentum started when the guy basically got his disallowed goal in the second period, at the end of the second period. Because I basically had three shots on net. That was half the amount of shots that I had in two periods. Look at this one. Oh, no, not this one. Yeah, oh, it is this one again. Yeah, it is this one. And then at my fourth shot, I get another goal. So now all of a sudden, everything seems to be going my way. And in less than four minutes of this third period, I scored two goals. <laughs> so at this point, I'm like, wow, okay. I'm happy that I, first of all, I'm happy, that, of course, that I stayed in the game. And this, you know, uh, I get a chance to come back in the game. Now I get a penalty here. Um, but unfortunately, those things will happen, you know. So I figured, you know, I, I was all happy. I scored two goals. I figured, you know, maybe I'll be able to score a third one. Uh, soon enough, right? And um, I did have a chance right here, but I miss basically gets a shot block. And then, guess what? It's a 2 3 game. The shot block that he had actually worked in my favor because I was able to pass it to Duchesne, a short end of goal, and top corner. 
So right now it's a 3-3 game and basically I have I think five or six shots in the third period and three of them went in. So I took six shots in two periods and now basically say I took six shots and scored three goals. Now I think it was six shots, I don't know, maybe five. Uh, and scored three goals. So all of a sudden it's a even game. Just like that in the first seven minutes of the third period. So basically for two periods, everything went completely wrong for me. And now in the first seven minutes of a third period, everything seems to be going right for me. Even if I got a penalty, it actually worked in my favor. Uh, I tied the game, you know? Game's not over though. Game's not over, guys. Game's not over. This is actually a very interesting game because you'll see soon enough. At this point here, I just missed the pass. And guess what, guys? Look at this. Oh, Rod X all saves it. Thank God, right? As you can see, I'm starting to miss passes here, right? Now, the reason why this goal here should have never happened was because, as you can see, when it started all off, as you can see, basically, I tried to make a pass. Uh, from my offensive zone and missed my player. It was probably a bad decision pass, but it still missed my player. And the guy ended up getting in my zone and afterwards he ended up basically scoring after a couple missed passes for me to clear the puck. And at this point, it seems like everything seems to be going his way again. So where did the momentum switch there? I have no idea, no idea whatsoever, but even if he does get the penalty, there's eight minutes left. And since this period, pretty much, you know, goal-wise, going in my favor, I figured, you know what, let's just continue playing and see what we can do out of it, right? So we keep playing, and at this point, he takes a timeout. So I figured, you know what, I'll take one too. <laughs> Um, now, does it really work if you take a timeout at the same time somebody takes a timeout? As you can see, we don't take it at the end of the game, we take it at 7 minutes. Now, does this basically turn around the game again? Maybe, maybe not. But at this point there, you could have easily scored that goal and then go in, right? So I figured, you know what, maybe luck is back on my side, because look at that, he misses that one too. I did get the pull check on it, but he still misses it, right? And then this happens. I miss. <laughs> Nothing happens, but wait a second, guys. Something will eventually happen. Soon enough. Soon enough. As you can see, I'm still fighting for the puck here. Um, I'm still trying to basically get the puck out of the zone. Um, um, I feel like the guy had a couple of good chances over here. See, he gets another good chance. That could have easily been a top corner. Uh, you know, some people look, oh, you, you know, he missed a shot. Well, maybe he missed a shot, but it, it could have easily been a goal for him. But it didn't. So, at this point, there's like two minutes 50 left. And I still can't get nothing going, right? I get a shot finally there by Bobby All. And look at that. Look at that lucky bounce. Then it's a 4 4 game. Just like that. So at this point, I'm like, okay, good. There's two minutes left. Let's get to overtime. Or let's try to basically score a quick one here. And what? That's right, guys. All of a sudden, we're in the lead. 5 4 with a minute 22 left. At this point, I'm happy. I kind of want to rub it in a little bit in my opponent. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to show him the replay because he did pull his goalie here and he did trip my player. But unfortunately, Cam really was there and I still scored. Um, I just wanted to get into my uh, opponent's head a little bit. So I decided to basically uh, show him the replay because it's a minute 22 and I don't want him to score, right? So pretty much at this point, I'm like, okay, I won. All I got to do is defend, right? Because all we're missing here is basically a minute left and 
you know, the game's mine. So at this point here, 40 seconds left, 40 something seconds left, I, I have a possibility to take a shot, but for some reason I decided to make the pass. And look at this, my defenseman gets beat. And now he, uh, and now he's in my zone, and he's gonna have a good chance to score. As you see, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. How sad is that goal? Of course, my opponent didn't forget that I made him watch the fifth goal I scored, so he figured, you know what? Let me show you the fifth one I scored. And believe it or not, I'm looking at this goal, and I'm telling myself, like, wow, EA, really? This is the one that's gonna tie the game, even if all game long. Things didn't go the right way for me. A shitty goal like that in the last minute of gameplay is just to tie the game over to bring this game to overtime. Anyways, so as you can see, there's 20 something seconds left. You're probably wondering, am I gonna score my next shot? Maybe. We don't know. We'll see. I do get a shot. Oh, it doesn't go in though. So at this point, there's 16 seconds left. This game looks like. The odds of going to overtime are pretty good right now, unless something amazingly happens here. As you can see, I won the faceoff, but I lost the puck instantly. He gets a very good chance here. He misses the net. Now, when he when he missed the net there, I really started. I really felt it from the the old third period that the momentum was on my side and it seemed like he, he got a couple of good chances but he was missing the net now so I figured that maybe as we go in overtime as we're gonna go right now uh, maybe the slider is on my side and I'll just pull this one off and eventually score a goal right as you see look at that goal oh my god so bad so bad so I don't know why he's making me watch the highlights of uh, us going to overtime all that time we were just waiting. As you can see, the game is pretty even. I have more attack time than him. He does have two power plays, and I don't. We both have 11 faceoffs each. I do have a short and a goal. As you can see, the game is very even, right? Um, so it's not like it's not like the whoever wins uh, didn't deserve to win. I mean, to me, that game looks pretty that even. You know, we both had our ups and downs with uh, missed shots and whatever. At this point here. Uh, Rod X Talk comes up big for me. There's a good save there. I'm trying to clear the, the puck here. And I give him a amazing opportunity to get a goal there. Unfortunately, I'm very lucky enough that my guy blocks it. At this point here, I'm like, wow, this guy's gonna score because I can't get the puck out of the zone. Finally, I get the puck out of the zone. So Johnny Gujo is on going in. I take a shot with Cam Neely. Doesn't work. He gets blocked. At this point, yeah, I go like, you know what, I'm going to force the four check. So I'm forcing, 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 and I force it good enough, and bang, there it is, guys, the comeback. Mike Richards, first period, going to hit the net, overtime, top corner. So I do win the game, and basically, I just wanted to let you guys know that whenever you're playing, play until the end, because you never know the outcome. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys watched this video, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.